my channel. Today we are gonna make one of my favorite fall treats, apple cider donuts. So tasty, so yum, and really so easy. So let's get started. Oops. We're gonna be using apple juice that I turned into apple cider. So, and cook it down with some yummy things. Cause what you're gonna do in this recipe, and this is really important, is you take your juice or your cider and you're gonna cook it on the stove you're going to do a half, one and a half cups, and then bring it down to three fourths cups. So if yours was just apple juice, what I did is I add cinnamon sticks, um, cloves, some orange, and let it cook down in that. So that added in all that extra flavor. Plus, we're going to add some flavor when we cook. But this is the secret, is our wet component is going to be a lot with our cider. But you need it to be reduced to get a lot of flavor without making the batter too wet. So, in this bowl, I went ahead and whipped, blended, creamed, I went ahead and creamed my sugar and butter. I'm gonna put this here because I was like, that won't work so well on video. And let me tell you, you want a stand mixer if you can. Yes, you can do this by hand. When I had a smaller kitchen, I never brought out my stand mixer. But once I start bringing out my stand mixer and you get it super creamy white like this, it really helps the texture. So you're going to cream it for three to four minutes. So if you're doing it by hand, it's probably going to be double that. <laughs> but you want this fluffy white texture. So trust me, if you're making cookies and they don't come out as well, are you creaming them? It could be a game changer for reals. Um, so that's what I did. And then here, then I added in an egg, which I made sure I fully incorporated. So again, it turns in to like one thing instead of looking like different ingredients. That's what we have here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cup and a half of flour. Now I use gluten-free flour. I have some that I like the best. I believe this is the Pamela's Artisan, which is one of my favorites. I hope the link's below. Uh, I do earn a tiny bit of money when you click through for Amazon. It's not very much, but every little bit helps. I really appreciate it for my family. So we put in a cup and a half there. We're gonna put one and a half tablespoons of baking powder. This is important. This is what's gonna help it rise in the oven. Add in our seasonings. So if you watch my channel much, you know I love flavor. So I put in more flavor than it ever calls for. They call for a measly teaspoon of cinnamon no, I always do a tablespoon. <laughs> Whenever I see a teaspoon, I do a tablespoon, especially when you're doing gluten-free because you need the flavor. We don't get a lot of flavor from our flour, so we have to pack in extra flavor. And we're gonna do a bit of ground nutmeg. Now, if you had fresh nutmeg, fresh nutmeg would be fantastic. I don't, this is what I've got. So I'm just gonna do kind of a light sprinkle, an eighth of a teaspoon. Let's add in a pinch of salt. Woo, that would be more than a pinch. So I always put it in my hand. So remember, salt just helps things have more flavor. You do not need to be afraid of salt. This, I like to use the pink salt or any kind of real sea salt that will have trace minerals. It's, so what we're gonna do is we're just incorporating all of this together. I really like these bowls. These are the reusable glass containers that you know you can storage containers but I use them for like everything I'm really really glad I finally made the swap to glass away from the plastic plastic ones which of course we know it's all better for us okay let me know in the comments what your favorite donuts are we're big donut people I love donuts and honestly I often tell people gluten-free isn't that bad donuts Fried dough is one of the things I miss the most. Like being able to go somewhere and get a treat that's a donut. But you can make it at home. I promise. On this channel, I have a pumpkin donut recipe that you can do. And I'll be having more pop up. We like to make them a lot around the holidays. We just do. We're going to take that apple cider that we reduced down over here. And we're going to do that technique where we're going to put in a little bit of both. So we put in a little bit of the cider. Incorporate that, then we're gonna put in about a half a cup of the flour. And this, you totally can do this, of course, with your stand mixer. I'm not because um, as much as I have a loud, lovely voice, I don't want the buzz of the mixer. 
So I finished mixing those in and I'm gonna add in a little vanilla. We really like real vanilla. So this is brand new. He picked it up at Costco. They actually have a pretty good price on their vanilla. I add vanilla to everything because I feel like, almost everything, I feel like it just enhances all the flavors and it's good. That's why I do it. What we're gonna do, because I'm gonna bake these, is we're gonna grease it. And I like to do coconut oil and then rub it around versus some of those sprays that have questionable ingredients. And coconut oil I feel more comfortable cooking with. I'm gonna fill these about three fourths full. So you're gonna fill them, not all the way, but you're gonna wanna do some. And as much as possible, you wanna keep the dough off, you wanna keep the dough off the middle. That will give you more of a real donut look when you're doing them so there's actually a full hole because when the dough expands, the dough will cover that hole, but it'll taste the same either way. Cause I don't always, I don't always get it right. You can also fry these. Um, it's a little harder because the dough is very sticky. So when I do, I usually do donut hole kind of things. And I just kind of like use two spoons and plop it in. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up and then bake them at 350 and then I'll show you how we're gonna top them. It's one of my favorite easy ways to top donuts. What we're gonna dip our donuts in is a simple cinnamon sugar. And this cup tastes so good because it kind of provides a crunch. But my daughter and I, to see if Ariel makes it, actually really like this on it. It does have a different mouth feel. So it almost kind of, almost kind of sizzles in the mouth or pops. But I just like having less sugar involved too with the monk fruit. Um, so I do about, a half a cup of the sugar to start. Because a lot of times I make way too much. Anyone else? And then I just have all the cinnamon sugar sitting around. Do you guys use cinnamon sugar much? I really do it mostly for this. But growing up, we used to have cinnamon sugar toast. We have toast, butter, and then cinnamon. Anybody? Am I crazy? Okay, so I'm gonna do about a teaspoon. And then you just mix it up like this and we'll be all ready when our donuts come out. They take our little donuts right here. I just pull them out. They've got this nice golden brown color. We're gonna dip them in some butter. Now if these were fried, you could dip them right in sugar. Because they're not fried, they don't have anything to stick to. So then we're gonna put that brown sugar, or brown sugar, cinnamon sugar, right there on top. And you should make sure they're cool enough to bite into, oh! Look at that fantastic texture. Mmm. It's good. Lots of flavor. It's so soft. These are not dry at all. These come out perfect. Mmm. I'm just gonna throw it out of the world. These are really good. I'm so excited. So you can see how easy it is. This time just whip something together, just try it. If it doesn't come out great the first time, that's fine. Just try again. Um, thank you for watching. Go ahead and follow, subscribe, all the things, and I'll see you next time.